This 58-year-old Caucasian woman has suffered for many months from a dynophagia. As you can see, huge peeling tissue paper-like pseudomembranes are found directly under the esophageal sphincter and extend to the middle esophagus. Pay attention to the edges of the pseudomembranes and the esophageal mucosa. There are no reactive mucosal changes close to the pseudomembranes. In addition, the non-involved areas do not show any noticeable inflammation or ulceration, etc. Here, Lugol's solution is sprayed onto the esophageal mucosa, which results in brown discoloration of the normal mucosa. Lugol staining remains the gold standard for detecting squamous cell neoplastic lesions, showing a lack of absorption of the iodine stain. This patient does not suffer from esophageal carcinoma, although you can see these large areas without any staining. This can be explained by the pseudomembranes, which are not able to absorb the solution. Histological examination of the biopsies led to the diagnosis of esophageal lichen planus.